A local group that helps children and adults with disabilities heal through equine therapy is bringing back a fundraiser after popular demand. And Brooke Slyer is live this morning at the Horse Stables in Makanda with those details, Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Evie and Day. Well, before we talk about the fundraiser, we have to talk about specialized equine services and what the program is all about. So joining me this morning is Patricia Nardini, the co-founder of the program. Thank you so much for waking up dark and early with me. Even the horses are waking up dark and early, getting some breakfast extra early. I'm confused about what's yeah. happening. Yeah. So we want to talk about equine services and how you help adults and children with disabilities who are local to our region. Well, our mission is improving the quality of life through the healing power of horses and I'm here to tell you the healing energy the horses have to give is life-changing mm -hmm. and we work with special needs people um, children and adults including uh, veterans with PTSD and talking about you know uh, just being able to heal through the horse therapy what are some improvements that you see in people um, you know both physically and mentally well, um, amaz amazing. Uh, with some of the autism uh, children, th their first words are telling their horse to move by saying, walk on. And one of them, I, I witnessed, said that, hi, mommy. It was the first time they ever spoke. Um, a lot of um, the people who are not as mobile, just the fact of sitting on the horse, the, the, the gait of the horse is very similar to that of a human gait, so they can build muscle memory and they can work harder. Um, the fact that they, they can be, um, they're relaxed on the horse, <clears throat> then their ability to focus is, is a whole a lot uh, more uh, uh, sharper, mm -hmm. um, and there's um, and they're having fun and not knowing how hard they're working at maintaining their balance and um, movement, range of movement, and all these things that are going on that they they have no idea. <laughs> and you know, really quickly too, this must be pretty emotional for the parents who bring their children out here just to see the improvements that they make. A powerfully emotional. I'm amazed that we see lots and lots of tears. We see, you know, even brain injured folks may smile or have um, a parent witness their child for the first time either relate to a human or move a limb when they were told that this never could happen. I mean, the, the delight and, and, the, and it just, it, it's totally emotional. You, <laughs> you can't imagine until you, until you, if you experienced it. Well, also emotional is how this program helps veterans, and we're going to be talking about that a little bit later on in the show, but for now, Nick, it is a lot warmer this morning and I'm not the only one who's enjoying it because let me tell you the deer are out this morning. <laughs> you know she mentioned that I almost hit some just coming in this morning.